315 Tuesday afternoon, Lake Charles City Police Chief Donald Dixon received word of a double shooting. Uh, when we responded, we had uh, some multiple victims, uh, at least one male and one female. Sending them straight to the ER, but the suspect allegedly didn't stop there. We do have a suspect, that same suspect involved in this, uh, left here and several blocks away, uh, carjacked a, a car. Uh, and uh, pistol whipped that individual and took a vehicle. Continuing on a search that led city police to the Howard Johnson Inn on Broad Street, where the suspect was believed to be. Deputy Chief Mark Crowell says after negotiating with the armed suspect and asking him to surrender, city police had to use a different method. We were able to engage uh, the suspect through the use of a less than lethal tear gas. Uh, once that event unfolded. It took about three or four minutes for the suspect to come out and he uh, subsequently uh, peacefully surrendered. As for the uh, arrest, he was charged, but those have not been made public yet. As always, we'll stay on top of the case and bring you more information as we receive it. At your service, Olivia Vidal, KPLC 7 News. Tonight, police are looking for a third suspect still on the run after an attempted traffic stop in Sulphur leads to a high-speed chase through Westlake. Now, that pursuit continued over the I-10 bridge and ended with a crash and cash flying in the streets near America's best suites on the lakefront. KPLC's Lee Peck was on the scene as it all unfolded.